He is armed with the knife. Get your f***ing hands up! Hands up! It's December 16th, around 2.30 p.m. Body cam video shows Phoenix police officers chasing a suspect on foot near 50th Street and McDowell Road. After receiving a call, he allegedly stabbed someone near 44th Street. Officers tell the suspect to put his hands up multiple times, but he doesn't follow commands. They then use pepper balls, but he keeps walking. It's not long before an officer fires real bullets. Police say the suspect was taken to the hospital but didn't make it. Later, officers learned the suspect had this black metal object in his hands. All of us are, are, have gifted 2020 hindsight. Former Arizona Police Chief Stan Kephart says in the moment, officers can believe they're in danger of being hurt or killed and that could lead them to use a lethal force. In the video, we hear at least two officers say the suspect has a knife. A knife, I'm sure we could all agree, can be a danger up close and personal. It can also be a danger if somebody throws it at you. Kephart tells us officers are trained to de-escalate situations, which include voice commands to pepper balls, tasing, using a baton, and so on. The training is given so that you don't have to exhaust each level of lower force. You can go from voice command to lethal force and use the firearm. And so that would not be wrong in terms of the training. Kephart also points out this intense exchange. <laughs> saying the investigation could look into suicide by a cop. Those kinds of things are not without uh, possibility in this situation. Police say there was a stabbing victim taken to the hospital with serious but non-life-threatening injuries. Kephart says it will be up to the Maricopa County attorney to charge the officer with a crime or not. See, we know the DOJ has been in Phoenix investigating uh, the department's use, use of force policies. Mm -hmm. Has there been any update on that? Well, yeah, so the Phoenix Police uh, Department says that it is listening to the community's concerns mm -hmm. and is rolling out a new use of force training. So um, in the beginning of the year, the department posted a draft proposal for a new use of force policy and opened it for public comment. They got more than 800 responses from internal and community stakeholders after amending and incorporating new suggestions. They have a new two-day, 20-hour training program that will start after the new year for all employees. The basis, getting everyone on the same page for, quote, reasonable, necessary, and proportional thresholds for use of force. But right now, it's still in unclear exactly what those trainings are going to mm -hmm. look like, but we're going to make sure to follow up with police to get an answer on that. Yeah, that DOJ investigation, two years in running, mm -hmm. they say it's wrapping up. Should get the results of that very soon, yes. so we'll be on top of it. Casey, thanks.